Honorable Member for Steveston, uh, Richmond East. Mr. Speaker, I too uh, am pleased to rise today to speak in support of Bill C-233, an act to create a national strategy on Alzheimer's and other dementia. Just like the Member of Parliament for uh, South Surrey, White Rock, I was in a, a similar situation. Not that I was the caregiver, but that my parents were the caregivers to my beloved grandma, my beloved nonna. And as was eloquently and passionately and poignantly pointed out by the member from South Surrey, White Rock, you have a lot of statistics, 750,000 people suffering from all types of dementia. And as the act or the proposed act properly states, it's Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. And unlike the member from South Surrey, White Rock, our family situation was a bit different, where my parents were able to give everything up, and basically they became the caregivers. And I would uh, try to get home as much as I could. To see a bittersweet situation where the mother, my grandmother, my nonna, and I always refer to her as Nonna Ming. Because as a um, little boy, I wasn't able to say her name, Domenica. And um, I saw firsthand where my grandma became a child. And my mother and father, well, they had the resources, the time to stay home. And my aunts and uncles, they also had the time to take care of my nonna. But a lot of folks are not blessed. We have many situations throughout Canada of different family dynamics, different situations from coast to coast to coast. And that's why I'm very pleased to rise today in full support of Bill C-233. And I'm also very pleased to note that this bill has bipartisan support, where I listen uh, to the eloquent and passionate presentation by my colleague from uh, South Surrey, White Rock, but also the Member of Parliament from Niagara Falls, who put forth this piece of legislation, as well as my colleague, the Member of Parliament for Richmond West, and the Parliamentary Secretary to the Health Minister spoke eloquently, as did the co-sponsor, the Member of Parliament from Don Valley West, and the Member of Parliament from, um, uh, from, Don, uh, from Kingsway, as well as, I believe, the Member of Parliament from Abitibi to Miskiny, spoke eloquently about not a, the exact bill, but a similar bill put forth by the former NDP Member of Parliament, Claude Gravel, back in 2012. While not exactly the same approach, but a similar bill to deal with a national strategy on dementia. And why do we need a national strategy on dementia? Well, because Canada's big. And I'll talk about it as others have, about the elements of the bill, where after 180 days, the health minister, she will put forth a, a conference bringing experts from all the provinces and territories, from all the stakeholders and people, where also there will be an advisory board of no more than 15 folks from once again different sectors of Canadian society that will advise. And also that the minister, I believe every two years, will report to Parliament on the approach and the success of the national strategy. And there's great buzzwords, best practices, uh, evidence-based, but ultimately what this means is that the Parliament of Canada, working with the provinces, and also working with the lower ends of government, perhaps lower ends is not the best way of putting it, but the, 
levels of government closer to the people, the municipalities, the health boards, the, the universities. Uh, in my writing of Steve's and East Richmond, we have Kwantlen College where they're also doing uh, research. And one of the things that is important, that yes, we need a national strategy to deal with the folks that are suffering from a horrific, horrific disease. And I saw that with my nun, I saw that with my grandmother. But we also have to figure it out, because dementia and Alzheimer's is not the natural process of aging. It doesn't have to be that way. But it's going to be tough. It's going to require the investment. It's going to require the research in biotechnology. Bi I'm not a scientist. But it requires the research about how the brain works, about how everything is connected. And that's what this strategy will do. But it's the first step. But it's a very important step. And Mr. Speaker, uh, I urge all members of the House to fully support this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.